Hey everybody. Welcome. We're going to do another late night craft session. Hey Marie. I mailed out your happy mail today. They said it would be there in two to three days. So that's fun. Welcome everyone. Glad you're hopping over here with me. Now listen, I am not going to compare to that cute little scarecrow. That thing was adorable. Adorable. Hi Tracy, I'm glad you're here. Everybody have a good day today. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Rose. Hey, hey, Mama Bev. Hi, Karen. Hi, Carla. Aw, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Hi, Lori from Michigan. Welcome. Yeah, I got I packaged it up all nice and safe, so it should arrive in one piece. And I went around and I fixed it because you know you do stuff faster on a live, so I hope you like it. It was so cute. That scarecrow, I almost wanted to say, nope, I'm not following that. <laughs> Hi Michelle from Florida, welcome. Hi D. Hi Charlene. Welcome guys. So I was stumped on what to do. I knew I needed to go live, but I've been so, so busy. So this is what I've come up with. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Brianna, hello from Ohio. You guys, that's my daughter in case you don't know. So I know you're from Ohio, honey. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Hi, Cindy from Kansas. Welcome. My bun has been flopping out. So you might see like a bun error. Just like the one side keeps coming out all day. <laughs> Thanks, D. You guys, I don't have the ring light on me tonight. Is the lighting better without it? Kelly from Kentucky. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I just kind of got on Pinterest and then I tweaked it to do, you know, my way. So I have this acorn cut out. Karen, that's my daughter. She, we live in Northeast Ohio near Youngstown. Welcome, Anne. Okay, Charlene, thank you. Thanks, Bree. Thanks, Linda. So I have this cut, this acorn cut out from Dollar Tree. Thanks, Mama Bev. And I am going to put, fa I'm going to Mod Podge fabric strips, different fabric pieces to it. We are going to, thanks, Tracy. We're going to stain this just with some paint. And then after this is done, thanks Rose, Miamisburg. I don't know where that is, Michelle, never heard of it. We'll attach this acorn on here. I'm gonna put some of the canvas, I'm sorry, burlap across the top, you know, where the brown goes. And then of course we'll do some other embellishments, but that's the whole gist of it. But Where's that at? Patascalusa? Why am I not scrolling? I'm not familiar with that either, Karen. It's just south of Dayton. Oh, okay. Okay. So, ladies, that is the game plan. I don't really know how it's going to work out, but we're sure going to give it a whirl. Because crafts, right? Just because. Crafts. 
me a new apple knee. I don't know where that is either. I'm sorry. I don't. I stay in my own little northeast corner of the state. <laughs> I don't know where any of those places are. Dayton, I'm unfamiliar with. Okay, so I'm going to take some truffle. Hello, Ginger. I hope so. I'm glad you hopped on too. Okay, so you're South Ohio, Southern Ohio. Okay, that's about, I'm about four hours north of Columbus. Aw, oh, thank you for sharing, Rose. I appreciate that. Love when you guys sprinkle me out like that. So you guys, I don't know if all of you know, but just yesterday evening, I started a group for all of you to go and get inspired, to inspire, whatever, to share your crafts. So if you, I have the link pinned at the top of my page, but it's called The Rusty Crew. Guys, whatever you're making, if you need ideas, go on over there, click on the link and um, just share your, share your beautiful things. I'll make it work somehow. Again, it's called The Rusty Crew. You guys, there's so many different ways I could have gone with that name and I had a lot of uh, influence a couple lives ago. You guys were all acting crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Just in one day, I got almost 100 people on there. But I just like to see everybody, what they make, and if somebody's not knowing what to do, like I didn't know what to do tonight, you know, you could go there and you look for ideas. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Yes, the Rusty Crew. If you go to the Rust Covered Cottage page, I have it pinned at the top of the, the feed. Top of my Facebook feed. And if you're a creator, you know, I accept pages and people. Because I want to help promote. You guys have done amazing things for me and my new page. And I want to pay it forward, of course. So post your links. Share your page. Do whatever you want to do. Because in this community, we all help each other. You guys helped me grow so unbelievably fast. I, it's overwhelming. Like I can't even believe it. A little over a month ago, I was just a girl watching everybody on Facebook, and now people are actually watching me, and I appreciate you all so much. I told my husband, I said, I can't believe people actually like things that I make. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm very thankful. So I'm just paint staining this with Waverly Truffle. Then I'm going to sand it just a little because I don't want it to be a solid. I want to see some wood grain in it. And then we'll move on to the fabric and the, the acorn. I am loving acorns this fall so much. Welcome, Crafting with Angie and Cher. I'm glad you're here. I was on the Vintage Pebbles Live, but for some reason... She can't see my comments when I post on my from my page, so I switched over to my personal page. How was that scarecrow? It was beautiful. Oh, thank you, Dee. Hi, Brenda. I'm glad you jumped over here with us. I don't know if Kelly, did anybody see Kelly from Hosack Mountain? I don't know if she's on, but Kelly, if you're here, I mailed out your shirt today, hon. You get it in a couple days. You kind of love me. Well, I kind of like you guys, too. I kind of love you guys, too. You're my friends. It's funny because when I don't see certain people on certain lives, I'm like, okay, I wonder if everything's okay. They're always on. Good evening, Kim. Welcome. 
tonight's craft is just kind of flying by the seat of our pants, you know, because I don't have an entire two rooms full of craft supplies and things that I can make. But I couldn't think of anything to make. I'm like, oh, Stephanie called me. She was talking about what she was doing. And I'm like, I got to get on Pinterest because I just don't know what to do. Don't know. Oh, you missed the scarecrow. You've got to watch her replay. Hi, Pat. That scarecrow was too cute. That's a heck of an act to follow, girls. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to the side. And we're going to work on the little acorn, just the stem, because everything else is going to be covered with the fabric. So, in fact, I might even wrap the stem, but just in case I don't, I'm going to go ahead and just hit it with some paint right quick. I promise you guys, this won't be a two-hour one like my Milestone Live. You guys all hung in there with me. That was great. Great, great. I did not. Oh my gosh, Brenda, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't send out a telegram. Stephanie was my telegram. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't used that yet. But I will. I promise. I will. I don't want to get paint all over my fabric, so I want to make sure this is clean. Brenda, I'm an airhead. My brain is in so many different directions. This is all like a whirlwind. But I got it, so that was one step. Okay, we'll let that dry up a little bit. We'll start tearing. You guys, this is this was my debacle once I decided what I was doing. And I don't know if any of you are like this. It's hard for me to craft something that I don't like, especially like, that aren't my colors or whatever. But I know, I mean, even after I make this, I'm just going to put it in the, the shop that I run a booth in to sell because somebody's going to love it. Hey, Steph. But um, I know blues are real popular, and I do have blue homespun, homespun yogurt. I almost said it again. Homespun fabric. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the blue. We'll try that and see what it I like my black, my tan homespun. I like my creams. I don't really, nothing in my house is blue at all. So I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm going to do blue. Hi, Stella. Welcome. Because I have to do things that I don't like because other people like it. Angie, you will love the vintage pebble. Her lives are all equally as great as the last one was. So I think that I am going to choose this. I, and I don't remember what this is called, but it's the, the rose. See, Michelle, a lot of people do. They love rose. Or they love the blue. But I just, it's not that I hate it. I just don't decorate with it. So I think I'm going to use these three. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put this down the center. No, maybe I'll put this down the center. So we're going to use this one, the ticking one, and then the checked one, and then the flat floral one. That's what we're going to do, ladies. Hope for the best. I'm sure somebody will like it and buy it. I got all of that fabric is from Hobby Lobby, Brenda. Hi, 
Hi, Stella. Is that Stella? I can't see you guys. Yeah, hi, Stella. I'm so glad you all came over here and joined me this evening. I was really on the fence about doing it, period. I don't know why. And then I saw whatever the scarecrow's name is, and I was like, oh, no. That is one hard act to follow. Hi, Shannon. Welcome, girl. So I'm just going to mark on my fabric, and I'm going to cut it in strips. And I am going to cut it because, you know, you can't get any kind of um, perfection when you tear it. And I need it to at least fit on here. But I'm going to fray the edges out a little bit. You guys, I got this fabric from the Dollar Tree, and it's almost exactly like drop cloth. Like it was one of those random, there was one in the whole bin. Sometimes they have some really cute fabric. They've really upped their game. I think I'm going to do this natural color down the center. Just to kind of break up the patterns just a little bit. And then I'll choose two of those other ones to do. I don't know if I'll do the ticking or not. We'll see. Whatever I grab. Because I'm so undecided about it. So we're just going to let it tell me. So there's that. And if we do that, we can do two. Unless I do a different one on each one. One, two, three do this. I don't know why I got a yard of this. I mean, like, seriously, I could see if it was the black and tan, then buy a yard, but not one that I'm not going to use all the time. <laughs> right, Shannon? I told them I'm more black and tan or like just a neutral, but I have to step out of my comfort zone. Just because I don't prefer it doesn't mean other people don't. And I'll just put it in the shop and sell it doesn't have to be made for me because Lord knows I don't have enough room for all this anyway so that's what we're doing I was gonna say that didn't mark on the fabric but it did this perfect because I am going to fray it as much as I can but I do want it to fit so I'm breaking all the rules I'm not tearing don't you like when you're doing something you just throw stuff around Throw that over there for later. I'm trying to make sure that this matches up this time. Do it like this, and then we'll. I do love this one though. But this is my favorite black and tan one too. This style, this pattern. I don't even know if I'm gonna see. So yeah, you guys got to make sure you uh, hop on, if you can, for our little event this weekend. Buy Shanna's presenting it. And Stephanie at the Vintage Pebble. Sarah Booksy and Button Designs. Myself and a ton of other creators are on it. It's going to be so fun. It's my very first one, so I hope I don't flop. 
because I don't need to make a fool out of myself in front of people I don't know. With you guys, I'm okay with that. Thank you for sprinkling, Susan. I think this is going to turn out cute. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a bow or not. I don't know if it's going to be too much with all the patterns on the acorn, or maybe I'll do a neutral one. I have to see once it all comes together. Either way, something will come of it. Maybe I'll do this on the ends. We'll do this on the ends. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. I'm just super nervous. You know, that's natural. Super, super nervous. I'm not a professional like all those other ones. I'm a newbie. Isn't it pretty, D? When I saw it, I loved it. And I'm like, I can make something with this. And tonight I was looking through my fabric and I'm like, why not now? Yes, I'm sorry. Thanks for answering, Janie. So, this is why we're going with blues. Stepping out. Going to do something different. And I wanted it to be more substantial than just the, you know, the thin little acorn. So, I went in my scrap wood pile and found that one by ten it looks like it was and I sanded it down and thought there's the base we'll attach it, it could be a wall hanging could be a leaner could be a door hanger could be whatever they want it to be actually I'll get that again because I'm gonna put that on both ends I think that'll be cute to have that on both ends Hi, Sue. I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. Glad you guys have faith in me. Which one did I just do? See, I mess up so easy. I can't, I can't talk and chew gum. My mom always used to tell me. It'll be fine. I'm not a real gabber anyway, so talking's not going to be a problem. I don't have that gift to gab. Like some people, we won't mention any names. No, go lay down. We're not starting this already. You just went outside, buddy. He's like, why are you going live so late? It's cuddle time. You guys, I never realized how clingy this dog was going to be. I mean, I always wanted a lap dog, but Jesus, I can't breathe without him looking at me. And see, I screwed up. I did the wrong one. See? That's okay. Oh. Are you at work or are you working at home? So that, 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 this has to be this one. Yes, I screwed it up, guys. And I knew I would. But what does Stephanie say? It's fine. Fine. It's all fine. Remember to turn my hot glue gun on, so that's a plus. I'm rocking my vintage pebble, dirty it up y'all t-shirt. I'll 
I'll just save that to add to some type of bow or something. Okay. So let's make sure this all matches up. Yay. Oh, that's going to be cute, you guys. that's gonna be I like that okay let's put that over there get our Mod Podge I don't have fabric Mod Podge I just have regular but it's gonna be okay was gonna do the top the Dollar Tree tile on this but I feel like everybody I watch is doing something with that so I'll just keep my stash hidden for a little bit and then I'll make something with it because when I grab when I finally found them I grabbed I, I grabbed five or six Oh, good, good, Shannon. I figured it would be okay. Thanks, Karen. I think they're pretty. And I am not particularly worried about if the slats like if the holes are covered, because it doesn't really matter to me. I prefer to see the fabric anyway, because the fabric fabric's really pretty. different ones mixed together. You know what, I found these on Amazon. Some creator that I was watching had them and everybody was commenting on them that they had bought them too because of her. They were $11.99, I think. And they're the best scissors I've ever had. I love them. I can send you the link if you're interested because they really are, they're good scissors. And they're cost effective. Cause I just kept getting those ones from Hobby Lobby, you know, the cute ones with the leopard print or the buffalo check or whatever, and they only last for a while. I've even sharpened them. They're just not quality, that's all. Okay, I will, I'll send you a link. So how many people jumped on and ordered the Scarecrow? She made it look pretty tempting, didn't she?
Okay, guys, I'm going to hit this with the gun and help it dry a little bit. Then we can chat. Oh, didn't it work? I said, how many people hopped up and bought the scarecrow? She made it look pretty tempting. She sent me that picture today and I couldn't believe it. So cute. And I'm not going to Mod Podge over top of this because I'm going to spray the, the entire thing with my clear matte sealer. Oh, Shannon, it was a good one. It was a cute, it's a cute rustic scarecrow. Steph did a good job. things are pretty janky like not very sturdy that's why I wanted to put it on a base how about that thanks Brenda yes it was Angie so adorable okay so that's done no more Mod Podge I really like that. You know the only thing I wish I would have done, and if you do one of these slotted ones, is in be, maybe do maybe do the pieces right here with the brown. That way, when you 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 can peek through there and see that there's still the natural wood. However, eh, it's still a little noticeable, but it's okay. Maybe cut your fabric a little bit bigger. What do you think? Should I wrap the stem? I think I'm going to wrap the stem. Give it a little bit more texture. Yeah, I'm going to wrap the stem with this thicker jute. This is the Dollar Tree one. It's real thin, and this one's from Walmart. It's just a little bit thicker. You tried to behave yourself. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. I don't know why I put my glue gun over there. I'm like not left-handed. Can't pretend to be. I count money like I'm left-handed, but that's about it. know about where you guys all live I know in the south you're all hot 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 but up here in Northeast Ohio it's been like fall and with everybody creating fall things it's like I'm ready to close the pool not really but it just meant you know that's the vibes I'm getting and just start putting out the fall decor my husband would actually go crazy it's just been so weird this weather up here so weird like it's getting down in the 50s at night I probably could yeah thanks Beverly yeah Brenda everywhere's hot it's just it's just not, not that hot. And then when it is hot, it's just humid and cloudy. Like it's not 
you want to go outside and spend the day in the pool. You want to stay in the a AC because it's miserable. Our summers have changed up here. The season has changed. It's weird. Hold that there for a moment without burning my fingers. Yeah, I like that on there. I wonder what that would look like. Let me see. I don't know. My twine doesn't match. I don't think that matters. You really could do that, actually. It's probably a good idea. Let me see. Just to cover the unfinished part of it. And because it's thin, I'm going to do it twice. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That was a good idea. Thank you very much. Plus, it adds a little something, too. Go lay down. It's okay, buddy. I'll be in in a little bit. look better like that with the twine in between so you can't see the raw wood I mean it's not super noticeable but at least it hides the the raw wood so I'm gonna do that real quick These things don't feel like they're just going to break apart at any moment. This will even help hold it together a little bit, give it some stability. I know, Karen. I'm really excited to decorate for fall. Teddy, go lay down. It just... And then, you know, I was thinking, like, I feel like I'm rushing it, but then pretty soon all the creators are going to start doing Christmas. It's like we're just jumping from one to the next so quick. But in the crafting world, you have to. You guys, so Florida's like miserable. Okay, we're almost done with this part. Mouse land. The acorn stuff? Is that what you're talking about?
Oh, I know, Marie. Oh, yes, yes. That was a brilliant idea with the jute. I got the dirty nails now too from using the wet wipe. Okay, so there's that. I think that looks cute like that. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I don't even know who suggested that, I don't remember. So now, I'm thinking we will sand this a little bit. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, Marie. Disney, Disney World once when my kids were little. Gosh, that's been about uh, 20 plus years ago. It's a lot. It is Truffle by Waverly. I just put it on with a baby wipe. a really pretty brown to if you want to get that stained look it's one of my faves there's a lot of nice ones but this is one of my faves and then we are going to attach our acorn Oh, that's okay, Susan. You can sprinkle twice. Oh, Patty suggested the twine. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You guys think I should uh, do some brown around the edges? Like dry brush some on? What'd you think? Stephanie, I know what you'll probably say, yes. Yeah, I'm going to, because that's just too clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. And this is just still trying to get rid of the apple barrel melted chocolate. I'm just going to dry brush some on. Dirtying it up. That's why I got the shirt on. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a good decision. Good decision. You guys, if you hear my dog barking, I promise you, he's not in distress and he literally went outside right before I hit live. So don't think I'm mean. He's just spoiled. Spoiled rotten dog. You sent me the link to the 10 hens? Sorry, Steph, I'm already brushing it, girl. But it's looking good. It really does make it look old, especially on the antique looking fabric anyway. I do want to use 
use one for this spot though. Because that was a fingerprint. Which is okay too. hot glue try to get it centered buddy it's okay Go in and lay down. It's okay. Go lay down. He's like, you're the meanest person in the world. Oh, thanks. <laughs> D, you're a riot. The things you come up with. D needs a page. Her creations are beautiful. How about that book star today? How did you even? Did that take you a lot of time? Because it looked time consuming. to put the burlap on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I can't pull on this thing. It'll fall apart. I guess I could just cut it and glue it across the top. If we even think it needs the burlap on. Let me see. I just thought of around the crown of the acorn it would look cute. But it may not need it. Let's see. It might darken this up too much. Oh, are you singing? He's literally singing now. I don't even know if I want it on there, actually. Cover up that pretty fabric. It just darkens it way too much. What do you guys think? Need your help. So it would be like that much of it would be covered. Yeah? Burlap it? No, Michelle? See, I think it takes away from it. I like, I, I like that, and that just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, we're going to go with no. If the acorn was bigger and the crown wasn't quite as big, I would say for sure, because that was my intention, but I don't, I don't think it needs it at all. Okay, so now I am going to make... What I think I'm going to do is, originally I thought about putting the welcome fall on there, and then I considered using the Scrabble letters 
and putting fall like on a piece of drop cloth, like making a little tag. Yeah, D, that's what I'm gonna do, something neutral. So, um, now I'm just trying to think here. Let me see. Sweet boy, go lay down. It's okay. I promise you. It's okay. I don't know which I like better. Well, there's only one L in there, so that's not going to work. But I could stamp. I could definitely stamp. Line up, line up, and pull it down to see the fabric underneath. Right. Oh, yeah, I could do that. That's a good idea, Shannon. Shannon, you're so crafty. You guys, the posts in all these share groups, I don't understand why you don't have your own pages. Even if you don't do lives, you guys are talented. So talented. Just making this all rough looking. Good night, Miss Sue. I think this may be a little. Nope, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm just going to brush this lightly so we can see some of the the natural wood just with whatever existing paint was left on there honestly do I need a babysitter when I'm gonna go live Teddy is this how it's gonna be every time yeah is that what the, that was a yeah I think bad thing about this done is the tip is not very detailed even though it's considered the detailed tip so it comes out so thick I try not to squeeze as hard sometimes it just happens Kelly listen I didn't know if you was on earlier I mailed your shirt today girl so it'll be there in a few days. They said two to three days. So yay. That looks cute. I wonder if Facebook bleeps out the squares. I don't know. I'm surprised I haven't slipped a couple times. Try to behave. I really do. What do you guys think? Or maybe down here, and I can put the bow up here. What shirt did you miss? She bought one of those ones that, um, Sarah had on I craft with wood what's your talent because you know she, Kelly truly does craft cuts wood crafts with wood so she bought one of those she texted me Saturday and I mailed it out today for you girl oh thank you Kelly 
Oh, Kathy, and you know what? I didn't send out a text because I'm a failure. <laughs> I just really, I, I jumped off of Stephanie's, I made a cup of coffee, and then I jumped on. And you guys, please don't be angry, but I have to let him out, or he's going to continue to carry on like he's a neglected child. Come on, buddy. I know. I'm right here. It's okay. You got to do laps around the porch. Okay. Gotta make sure there's no bunnies or squirrels in our yard. So, okay, this is what we have so far. Well, hello, Jackie. Welcome. I'm loving it. See, sometimes when you don't plan it, it works better. And I don't think that I'm going to do a bobo, like with the bodabra. I think, um, listen, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna go neutral. So just neutral to lighten that up a little bit I don't want a whole lot of all I don't want it to be entirely dark that I can throw in there I have this you can put some of these pick berries in there That'll be cute because these are the perfect color of pit berries for those in the bow, the cream colored ones. So I think that's the plan. Oh yeah, I'm doing the Bodabra. To heck with it. Why not, right? I haven't done one yet since I've been going live, so I'll do it today. And now my dog wants in. Hold the phone. I'll be right back. Come on, baby. Okay, here's your treat. Go lay on the couch. I'll be right in. Go on. Good boy. Go on. In the house. Good boy. He's like, if I'm a good boy, why am I getting locked in the house? So, what I miss? I'll be back. That's right, Brenda. How was your dinner, honey? For your daughter's birthday? So we have that one. We have that one. We can piece that in there and that in there. Hey, Karen. Good night, dear. I know late nights aren't for everyone. We're almost done, though, in any event. Almost done. And I think that I'm going to do some... I'm going to do burlap. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this in there. Just for a little bit of the blue to bring it out. This is another Dollar Tree fabric. It almost looks like denim. But I think I'm going to put one of those in there just to give it a little bit of the blue. See what I mean? That's why I cut those strips for the acorn because it doesn't always tear straight. Throw that in there. That's good. One, two, three. Add that. 
Okay, so let's do this. I need my string. You guys, don't get your expectations up because I am not the Borista. Yes, it is 11.30. Good night, Kim. Thanks for being here. The Borista, I am not. But I do love to make them. Before I found Sarah's page, all I did was use ribbon. Because I did like, I do some door signs and stuff, so... I was always using ribbon. I have so much ribbon. And then I found her. I don't think I use very much. If I do, I'm cutting it up. And using it. Like parts of it. You know what I mean? Good night, Linda. almost done ladies thanks for hanging out with me I do appreciate it I'm going to throw this little bit of blue, just put it in there like an X. I'm going to put this pit berry in there too, I think. Yes, I am. Because that'll be cute. This isn't a huge one, ladies, just a normal size. normal size. I don't know why I said that, but it's just not huge. All right. I like that fabric that looks like denim. That's really cute. And that material that I got from Dollar Tree that looks like drop cloth, it actually is real stringy like drop, drop cloth is too. I couldn't believe when I found it.
what do we do? I know it's over teachings. Carol, don't worry. Okay. So here's our bow. Here's our bow. it up and put some excelsior in it and something in the center thanks Cal thanks Steph thank you Tracy bend these a little bit It's a floppy bow for sure. Floppy, floppy, floppy. Oh, I think it looks cute. Where is my... You know what I'm putting in the center? Thanks, Brenda. Yep, Janie, great minds think alike, huh? Oh no. We're calling 911. this day or was it you I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit Not too much at all. I don't think I need any greenery. I think it's I think it's good enough the way it is. Just a little simple. It was D Mama Bev. Okay. You guys are funny. Steph, you gotta get on those shirts. I have a feeling your fan club's gonna buy them like crazy. And 
then I'm not going to put a hanger on it, but you could hang it. Be a leaner in front of your fireplace or on your mantle. Anywhere you like. I think it turned out really cute. I like it. Okay, the, here's the reveal. You guys think it's got enough on it? I don't really think I need to work, add anything else. I think it's good like this. Thanks, 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 Stephanie D. Thanks, Stephanie. Actually, I'm kind of glad I went with the blue. That I, I really like those fabrics together. Really do. Thanks, Ginger. Thanks, Brenda, Tracy. Thanks, Susan. Angela, I didn't know you were on here. Hi, girl. I know, Melody, I love the colors too. And like I said, I'm just not a blue person. See what happens when you do something out of the norm? It always ends up turning out nice. Well, that's it. You guys, I don't know if everybody heard, but I did start a crafting share group. The link is on my page called The Rusty Crew for everybody to go inspire each other, share their crafts. If you're in a slump like I was tonight, you could go look for ideas. Just a safe place for everybody to share their love of crafting. So... You can go over there and do that. And Saturday all day is an event that Stephanie, Sarah, and I are in. It's um, presented by By Shanna. That's going to be fun. There's a lot of amazing, amazing crafters in there. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks, Gay. So yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. Thank you guys all so much for all your support. Thank you for joining me, making my little acorn. Turned our dollar twenty-five acorn into something super cute. Go grab one. They have the pumpkins, the leaves, the acorns. Okay, Sarah's on tomorrow, Wednesday. D. Maybe we'll see you there. Okay, ladies. Have a great night. Thanks again, and I will see you soon. Bye.